And this is it. The majority of fans are inside the stadium now, and the tension is palpable here ahead of the UEFA Europa League final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me in the commentary position is, of course, Lee Dixon. And we're just moments away from kickoff. It's Real Sociedad up against Marseille. Well, the long road from the start of the competition almost a year ago to the final is here. Both teams have the added advantage of if they win this competition, the Champions League place is available. Starting 11 for Real Sociedad. Porto starts with Oya Sabal in the wide areas. And the attack is led today by Alexander Isak. Here's how it looks for Marseille. The wing backs are going to be crucial in this setup. You played in that position, Lee. Yeah, I didn't really like it. And we always thought when we were playing against five at the back that the wing backs exposed like this in this formation. But 4 4 2 can really create a 2v1 down the side. So keep your eye out for that. And the three narrow midfield players supply the support for the two forwards up front. Oyar Sabal. David Silva, Goro Sabe, Nagatomo, Dimitri Payet with it, Arkadiusz Milik, run it superbly to take back possession. Well, I suspect I'm rather like many of you in never tiring of watching David Silva. What do you think he'll bring to the table on this game, Lee? Well, he plays the game as if the ball's his own. He lends it to other players. He's the glue between the team, between the different departments of the team, and he links everything together. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. And played the pass well. Gay. Payet. Far from textbook. Well, the shot more than decent. It had power, just couldn't find the target. Under Guevara. It's with Miguel Marino. And they are on the move again. Well, it could be on for him here. He's unable to take the chance. And he'll be disappointed here. Well, nil-nil. It should be one-nil. It really should. Well, they might 
be up to something. There it is! How about that for starters? Well, what a huge moment that might be for this club. The fans are going absolutely wild. Well, here's the replay, and as we can see, the defence can't cope with the through ball, and it's a dream of a strike. Lovely language style, what a goal! has restarted, 1-0 here. Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. And nicely struck. Asking a lot to score from there. Goalkeeper's ball. Tobin. Alvaro. Cross the touch line, so a throw in here. Alcadius Milic. And he did well to cut it out. And the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. Simple for the keeper dealing with that long range effort. Marseille have totally controlled possession, but after that it's been disappointing. I'd like to see them use those wide areas around the defence, get round them as opposed to trying to go through the middle. Game. And a throw in forthcoming. Gay, Janet Atsar, creative look about this. Oh, the keeper made it look routine, it was anything but. Well, he's given a corner, the referee. short and that is how to block Forward to mop up defensively. Bubakar Kamara. Really bright looking attack. Good defending to prevent the chance. Now trailing, but plenty of time left and a corner coming up. in this UEFA Europa League final league. Well, from everybody's point of view, it's been an absolutely brilliant game. I've enjoyed every single second of it. We've had incident, we've had tactics, we've had all sorts, confrontation. Bring it on.
stop them in their tracks. Alcadius Milic. Bubakar Kamara. Still trailing, but they're upping the pressure. Top class defending. for a foul. Well, he can consider himself admonished even in the absence of a yellow card. Alvaro 
And he's through here. the change now. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Inside the final two minutes of this contest. Promising sequence. Nagatomo. It's with Camara. The cross is on. Read it superbly to take back possession. And there's the whistle. This UEFA Europa League final has been decided. Disappointment on one side, but sheer jubilation on the other. And my goodness, Lee, they deserve it. Absolutely deserve it. They were running the clock down at the end. The referee obliged and blew his whistle. And quite rightly so. They're now on the halfway line celebrating with all their teammates I'm pretty sure all the subs etc will come running on as well a great great night for this football club that's a party to last throughout the year I should think I'm very happy to be celebrating good times in the Europa League and now the trophy awaits them well all those months of hard training sessions pre-season training you kind of look forward to get yourself through those sessions and they'll be looking forward at moments like this they've finally got their hands on this fantastic magnificent trophy this is what they wanted now it's in their possession the winners of the uefa europa league long celebrations into the night i'm pretty sure derek it's going to go on and on I think they have every intention of making this last as long as possible. One more trophy left, why not? Yes. And now they get to enjoy the moment with the fans who have made the journey here for the final. Well, it's their trophy as well. They play a huge part in a club season, not only domestically, but in competitions abroad. They travel far and wide to watch this team. And they're celebrating and sharing this moment. Absolutely fantastic. Well, they've shared it, Derek, with the fans, but it's time to celebrate with your teammates. No better feeling in the world. Absolutely, Lee. You are looking at the UEFA Europa League winner. 